my channel. So today I am in here. I've been messing around with some rope, trying to hang up um, some of my pots. So I wanted to show you guys what ideas I came up with. I posted on Instagram and then some people told me to show them how I did it. Um, so yeah, I was just playing around. I really did not know what I was doing and just playing with the rope, I figured a couple ways out. So this pot right here is um, thinner at the bottom and thicker up top. So um, I'll try to see if I can show you how I recreated this. Um, I don't, um, so I had, there's a couple pieces of rope. There's two pieces of rope at the bottom and then they come to the side here. And those are like, I guess you wanna say the loops. And then I took another piece of rope and tied it up here. And then I took another piece of rope and made a chain. So that's how that one went. Um, just cause it's always hard to predict how much rope I'm gonna need. So that's why I ended up having to do that. Then um, this one is the same. You might be able to find this right now currently at Walmart for 250. This pot, really good pot for 250. It's thin at the bottom and also wider up top. So what's holding this, it's just the pressure of it, you know? I pulled it really tight. Same thing I did. I used two ropes at the bottom and then um, I have another string going around like that. So for this one, I used three ropes and then the other one I used a couple. One, two, three four actually five pieces for the other one and then this one I had uh, I bought this mug wanting to plant it up and I had it and I was looking at it I'm like I wish I could hang her up so I figured out a way again just playing around with the rope to get her to stay um, what's keeping her on here is the pull just the pulling effect the pressure of it hanging is keeping her on this once I take the mug and set it down on the table and let the rope drop, it will completely just um, start to come undone, I guess you'd want to say. So that's how that would work. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much going to do that again. I'm going to play with the rope on camera to see if I remember how I did them. Okay, uh, you guys. Like enjoy. I said, I'm going to try to my best to show you guys. I ran out of rope. Um, the rope that I used for the other ones, it's just leftover rope that I had laying around. I don't know actually uh, where it all came from. This is just, you can buy all sorts of different colors or kinds of ropes at Home Depot. And I, I imagine at Lowe's. So I just bought, purchased this at Lowe's. It was seven something and I got a hundred feet of it. Um, it is not uh, like nylon. I don't think so. No, this is not a nylon. I don't like the shimmery kind i i don't i don't like that uh, i actually wanted it to look just like the other one but the other one could probably has the color that it has it's a different material you can see that it looks different that one's probably more cotton and this is a polyester blend so i don't know anyways the other one's um more on the creamy side the, the color so I guess what I can do to try to guess a size, kind of, right? Um, so that I don't waste rope. It's kind of hard to determine, but I was giving it some thought and I was trying to think of ways possibly that I can guess how long. Oh my gosh, where's the, I saw one side. Where's the other side? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just use this side. So I was thinking a way that maybe I can figure out it's just going ahead and measuring it out. So um, for this one, if you find a pot like this, well, you're lucky you have a lip. Like I said, there's different ways. I'm gonna show you um, a few ways. So this one has a lip. So there, I can already use the technique that I was using for the other ones, which is this. So I would take it and I would have two sides. So let me go ahead and try to measure out so let's see so if this ends up being this I can kind of guess the height I can always add more rope it would be great if I didn't have to 
might need a smidge more because I gotta think about when I when I um I think you're always gonna waste some room. So okay, that's one side. Like I said, there's many ways of doing this. This is just some ways that I came up with. And then there is um macrame. So that's one side. I'm doing this actually different than I did the other one only because I'm I am able to um, measure it this time. This time I'm actually trying to measure. Last time I didn't. So that's one. So then I'll just go ahead and measure the same one. I should have done it the way I did the other one because I do actually like the way it looks. It's pretty cute. This is like, it feels like a lot. It does. So we'll see. Let's see what we can do with this one. It's starting to get hot out there. So anyways, you take both sides here, make sure it's even right there. So then what I do is I just take it. You can tie it if you want to give it more of a, you know, so it has that look. Okay, so I tied it. And it, this one has a lip, like I said, so this one will be very easy. And then, so I just tied it on that side. That's all I did, let me show you. So I take it, I made a knot, right? Then I go ahead and wrap it and bring it to this side. And now on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and tie it again. And that right there is gonna be my one side. See? So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing again with the other side. I'm gonna go underneath it. And I'm gonna, actually I gotta go this way, sorry. So I'm gonna bring it on this side, make sure it's even. Get this one out of the way. I'm just making sure, of course my phone's gonna die. So it's, I have both of my ends together. And then now I'm just gonna tie it right here. Then I take it to the other side. And then I tie it again. And this one's super easy because it has a lip. So now, see, you wanna tighten everything up. You wanna move it up. Hold on. So see, now I have both sides. And you can just go ahead and tie it. And that's it, and you hang that. So that was pretty self-explanatory right there. But what I did with the other one, I'm gonna see if I can use the same rope. What I did, this is a big pot, it's pretty tall, so. But I still have the effect of um, um, thinner and then widen, widening up. So, oh, let me show you what I'm, see this is what I did pretty much for the other one so I'm gonna undo this now it's it's nothing you could just undo it very easy I hope that you guys saw how I did that I mean it's pretty easy so for this one I'm doing the same thing okay so we have the pot here I'm gonna take the same string that I used and we're gonna tie this like that and do we bring it to the side? Yes. And then I do the same thing for this side. It's gonna tie it. So I tie it like this and bring it to this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the rope underneath all the ropes that are on this side. I'm just take all of them. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the ones that are on this side. I'm putting them under, so I'll grab them. I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna shove it in there underneath it and then I'm gonna pull it again. 
And then I'm gonna push it up and I'm gonna pull. Then I'm gonna tie it again, just to keep that there. And look, I can pull as hard as I can and it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna, I still have to tie this side. I still haven't tied it. All right, tie it and then pull. Let's see, I'll show you what it should look like. Here, something happened here. I guess I didn't, I missed the rope when I put it under. Let me see something. Unless it just, yeah, I think, what did I do? This is the only one that's like out from underneath there. Anyways, you can fix it. Like I just said, I just shoved it underneath there. Now I'm going to tie it. You can tell how, you know, you saw how that happened. If you want, you can have the loop go all the way up here or here on the side, whatever design you're trying to go for. And I'm gonna tug on it. And me tugging on it, I can determine the height of it by stopping it like right there. It's not gonna stay in place until you tie it. And that's it. You see how I did that? And actually the rope looks kind of cute. It, that's not going anywhere. So that one is, that one's done. I should hang it for you guys to see. I'm gonna complete this one so you guys can see it. So you can just tie it. And obviously if you want it to be longer, then just add a little bit extra. So what I did is I measured, but then, um, cause you lose some rope when you tie and stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna hang this and show you guys what it looks like. One second. There it is, guys. That one came out to be a little bit short. It's not a big deal. I could just add more rope to it or just maybe add another hook and make it longer. Um, I know this pot doesn't have drainage. I'm just showing you. Even though there is many people that have success with pots that do not have drainage and they're succulents because they don't tend to overwater. They just give it a little bit of water and um, I've seen several people do that. So I just wanted to show you guys Oh, easy I feel like this one. is the one that uses the most uh, rope um, because you'll need eight of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure. Oopsie. Sorry, guys. The camera is right in front of me. So you just um, go ahead and measure about how long you think it's going to be once it's going like this. So let me see. I always, I always uh, do less than what I'm supposed to. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this one because I haven't done it in a while. So I'm gonna say that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure these side by side. And then I'll take this one as an example to do the rest. Okay, hey guys, so I had to take a minute and focus because I couldn't remember. So I actually need four long strings right you just take one like the first one I did and you measure out side by side and that's gonna be your guide so you have four but once you take those four and fold them in the middle and you make this little knot at the um when you fold them you make the knot you'll have this right you have this once you see you take I took them I folded them and then I made a knot at the end so then now you will take it and you will choose the ones the strings that are close to each other so this is two that's two two and two and then you're going to take and you make a knot there's many different ways to do this uh i could remember because i hadn't done it in a while i had to think and mess with it for a minute so you take these and they should be close to the same you know they should look similar after you did that now you'll take the ones next next to it see and then so you'll measure about there I guess again I probably could have used a little bit more rope 
that's the story of my life. I always never choose enough because I don't take account for. Um, so now I'm going to take the one again. See? So I'll make sure that it looks about the same. I'm always afraid of using too much because then I'm going to waste it when I cut it. It looks about the same distant here. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the next one. And of course, I'm out of the camera because I'm not looking. We'll see if this works, if it's a fail or not. If it's too small for that pot, I probably could use it for another pot. And then here's the last one that I have left. Also make it about the same distance. Same length, not distant length, sorry. And then you can, if you had more, if you use more rope, you can get even more creative and do more patterns. But that's all I did right there. So now I can actually place my pot. See, definitely needed, definitely needed more rope. So that this rope is not hovering over the plant. And you can try to even it out. Like I said, I can use this for a smaller pot. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys what I did. Hold on a second. Yes, guys. See, I could have, um, if I would have done um, more rope, it would have been longer. So I can use this um, for a smaller pot. Uh, let's see what it looks like in a smaller, smaller pot. pot. It looks much better um, in the smaller pot. So as you can see, I would double your rope. Definitely double your rope. So like when I did, um, let me get back on the camera here so I can show you. I measured my rope. I measured it like this and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's like a foot long after it's on the pot. And then, um, so I would do double that. I would definitely do double that. So I would probably go ahead and measure how long is that and then double that. Okay, so there it is. It's all done. I had to add. So what I did is I cut it, I tied it and cut it, and then just through the middle, I looped a longer um, piece of rope and then I tied it and that's it. It's not, um, what is it? I don't think it's that difficult. Just play around with it and see what you can come up with. And uh, I mean, it's for you. So I'm not, I, I'm like if I were to sell this, obviously I would try to be more picky about it, but I'm not trying to sell them. They're just for me, um, for my satisfaction. So yeah, I think they look beautiful and um, these hooks, you can find them at Dollar Tree. So if you're, if you're looking for the hooks, you can find them there. I hope that this video can help you out. I'm not too sure if you guys can really get something out of this video because of the angle. I just, in the end, I hope that you guys do. Um, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day. Bye guys.